right here blocking my path. They waited. That's what the police department setting up with tax dollars. Excuse me, can I get through? I have a question. There's a lot of people that are really strange and block my path and I always see you guys see I'm a government witness and I'm targeted. But all these people are just like stalking me and behaving oddly, starting arguments. And then when I report it to the police, I'm denied law enforcement and investigation. So I don't know who's a, if someone told me that the police department had them do it. And I said, well, the police are trying not to go to prison. I'm doing a report, sir. What's your badge numbers? Because I'm doing a report. When this first got started, he said that police told me to do it. So I thought that the enlisting parties to commit crimes for you, harassment is a misdemeanor. You don't want to talk about these consequences, officers, for you setting up people to torture government witnesses? You think the feds will condone you walking off while I'm trying to do a report year after year? Because enlisting civilians in the torture campaign so you don't get felonies you've chose to rack up for yourself is pretty sick. Bro, I, I couldn't be, understand why people were starting arguments and not I talking to me. I can't be alive, bro. Like, am I really witnessing what I'm witnessing? And then having people interrupt really, me talking really, everywhere I'm at really to protect you lie. for felonies you chose to rack up. Not that lie, bro. Not that lie, bro. Mr. Officer, what did you do to this lady? What's your batch number? K Stewart. Remember me, K Stewart? I told you the bus drivers kept leaving me and you threatened to take me to jail, you and that other officer, for trying to report the I don't you at all. Oh, I remember you. You're on my YouTube channel. Did you ever check it out? You're on my YouTube channel because I tried to report that multiple bus drivers were leaving me, driving reckless, and people kept starting arguments with me on dark property. And then at first they told me that the police department had them do it. Then I was trying to eat almonds and then blessed lied on and slandered, said that uh, the person said that I was uh, flashing the light in her face when I wasn't and put off a train. But this would happen repetitively when I was sick. So I didn't feel safe with people scheming to get me off transit. This is why I don't think you show no energy. I told people repeatedly I can't live in Dallas because the corruption is so extreme. Like over there, Louisiana Chicken at the West End, they tried to charge me for a box, a dollar for that that they give everyone else. You're a police? K-9, detective unit, why are you here? You, There's no K-9 here. This one here, why is a K-9 even needed at the West End? I tried to and got arrested. Lindsay arrested me for trying to do a report on the abuse I experienced using DART. Badge number 61. And then arrested me for trying to use transit out the blue and uh, like seven or eight police and nothing happened. And I couldn't go to court and was tortured in jail. Then sent to Charles State Hospital. Violated there. But I'm just trying to see who's having these people block my pass. You guys don't want to talk about it? In her setting up harassment, hassle harassment is a misdemeanor. Why would police be allowed to set up civilians in criminal activity year after year and then walk off so they're not incriminated? I thought there were still charges even if you walked off. They're ready. Been getting away with this year's. I'm psycho. I'll use the police to enforce you never have friendships. If someone wants to be stubborn and still be your friend, I'll speed up and buy you. I speed up by her. To speed up by the friend, like I'm gonna hit her with a car, do the same thing to your family till no one has anything to do with you. I'm the law, I can do this. No accountability nowhere. So they're so petty that they cut the line for a TV when I finally had access to watch a TV. I want you to know how insane this abuse of power is and how we, we, y'all don't understand why you don't feel like you're in jeopardy. So at uh, Millwood Hospital, I finally got access to watch a TV. They cut the line. So I finally was watching Basketball Wives and the police came and they schemed. It was a scheme that someone got sexually assaulted because they already cut the line on another TV. So they needed me out the room at Millwood Hospital so they can do a police report, interrupting all of the TV that I finally got a, uh, had an opportunity to watch. So petty. I don't want you watching TV. Sent three police. The con was that someone was sexually assaulted there. Left the man that sexually assaulted the woman there. Then uh, put them on um, what they call is one-on-one. 
supposedly in their con, they sexually he was sexually assaulted someone. Police left him be at the middle hospital and just had a one on one. So the whole incident monopolized a whole group meeting. This is the con group meetings we have. All we did was talk about the abuse and how outrageous it was, but how the man was still there. So the man came in the group meeting. So th at first, this would make me terrified because a man that sexually assaulted someone still at a uh, hospital, still here with us, but I know they're cons. They have better actors. So the man came in the group. Everyone was friendly. The girl that said her friend was sexually assaulted and that was no good and they shouldn't have left him there. She was friendly to him, asked, her, asked him if he wanted a cigarette for later. So all someone would have to do law enforcement if someone is so petty to interrupt you from watching TV, like at my sister's house, in schemes. What is repeatedly going to be done? I said that they do this at hotels. I had to delete the videos. Hotels, hospitals, just so I can't watch TV. That's how you know you're dealing with someone that does, is not mentally stable. And mentally stable people do not need to run the government. I repeatedly keep saying this. So there, I'm monitoring everywhere I go. Every place is full, including hotels. If I'm not holding my phone up, the bus will leave me every time. And everyone at the bus stop with me. Drive recklessly every single time. So there are all this security to monitor where I'm going and create havoc. They get out the way. If my phone was not up, no. They want me to go oh, um, uh, on each side. They'll block, there's one waiting right there until you saw me recording them. They want me to go back and forth, back and forth like a maze if my phone's not up.